We've seen in previous videos what happens when you take a PN junction and attach a battery in such a way that the P type is connected to the positive and the N type is connected to negative. Our PN junction conducts very heavily, very nicely. It allows the flow of charges from P side to N side and we call this as forward biasing. In this video, we're gonna figure out what's going to happen if you reverse the connections. What will happen if you connect the P side to the negative and N side to the positive? So let's do that. So let's reverse the connections. Reverse the connections. Excellent. So now that now we have a negative side connected to the P and the positive side connected to the N. Let's see what's going to happen. Well, as of now, nothing will happen because the voltage is pretty much zero. We are still at equilibrium. The diffusion is happening, drift is happening in the opposite direction. The two currents are equal. The total current is zero. We've spoken all about this in previous videos. So if you need more clarity, it would be great idea to watch them and then come back over here. We've also seen there's a potential barrier of 0.7 volt inbuilt barrier. We, even without any external battery, it's already there. Okay, so what do you think is going to happen if we turn up the voltage knob, if we increase, if we give some voltage, so let's do that, let's give some voltage to it. So let's zoom in to the voltage knob and let's turn the voltage. Let's make it, I don't know, maybe one volt. Let's turn it to one volt. What do you think is going to happen? Just pause the video for a while and think about it. Well, there are two ways to think about it. One is we could say, notice now that we have a negative terminal attached to the P, it starts pulling on the holes because there are a lot of holes over here. Remember, holes are like positive charges. And so the negative terminal starts pulling on the holes, the positive terminal starts pulling on the electrons, and as a result, notice that the majority charge carriers are moving away from the junction, exposing the charges, exposing the ions. Or in other words, they are increasing the depletion region. Can you see that? So the, the main thing that's going to happen is that the depletion width the depletion width is going to start increasing. So the depletion width, the barrier starts increasing. It becomes wider, all right? And another way to think about this is we could say that because the battery is attached this way, the potential barrier has increased. Can you see that? Now it takes more energy for, for a charge to move from here to here, for a positive charge, let's say, to go from here to here, it takes more energy before it took less energy. Now this height of the barrier has increased. So the barrier has increased. And you have to excuse my drawing, the barrier is entering into the semiconductor. But anyways, okay. So the barrier has increased, and guess what? If you add one volt, the barrier increases by one volt. All right? Either ways, what do you think happens to the diffusion current? Think about this. Well, now notice the diffusion has become harder. It make it, holes and electrons, well, they want to diffuse into each other, but because of this huge potential barrier, now it becomes even harder for them to diffuse. And guess what? If the potential barrier is large enough, diffusion might even stop, all right? So the diffusion current over here, diffusion current might decrease and it might even go and become zero. You know what? It might even go and become zero. So diffusion has stopped for all practical purposes. What do you think happens to the drift current? Think about that. Well, remember the drift current is due to the minority charge carriers. There are some holes over here, and the hole enters into this region. Whoa, it's gonna accelerate this way. And similarly, when the electrons enter into this region, they accelerate that way. What do you think happens to the drift current? Well, you might think, now that the barrier has increased, the electric field has extended, the drift current might increase, right? Well, turns out the drift current doesn't change much. It pretty much remains a constant. We'll explore why in another video, but the drift current does not depend on this voltage. But anyways, as a result, notice the equilibrium is broken and there is a net current flowing from N to P. The drift current is winning, diffusion is almost gone. So there is a net current from N to P. And so the PN junction starts conducting in the opposite direction. Starts conducting in the opposite direction, this way, see, N to P. What opposite direction means what happened in the previous case, in the forward bias. All right, what do you think the ammeter will do? Well, the ammeter won't show anything. And we're like, why? Because turns out that this current is extremely tiny. You know why it's extremely tiny? Well, you can actually see it over here. It's a very tiny current because it's due to the minority charge carriers. The word minority is telling us that, you know, minority, they are very small in number. So this current is in fact, in fact, if you do the calculation, turns out it's about a thousand times smaller than what we get in the forward current. So this current is so tiny, we can actually assume that this current is approximately zero. So this current, we can pretty much approximate and say it's zero. 
And so if you think of it this way, notice we could pretty much say that the PN junction is now acting like an insulator when you attach the battery this way, when you try to push the charges this way, it acts like an insulator because it hardly conducts. And so guess what? If you forward bias it, the PN junction conducts. Now, if you attach the battery this way, we call this as the reverse biasing because it's exactly reverse of what we did. So this is called reverse biasing. So if you reverse bias it, the PN junction doesn't conduct. And guess what, that's exactly what we wanted. We have now built something that only allows the flow of charges in one direction, but it doesn't allow, almost, almost doesn't allow any flow of charges in the opposite direction.